Welcome. We look at 10 results in calculus. First of all, the fundamental theorem of calculus, which relates differentiation and integration. It tells that if we integrate the derivative, we get the function difference. If we differentiate the integral, we get the function back. The pictures here explain this. Taylor's formula tells that translation is generated by derivatives. We can express the function if we know all the derivatives at the point. So here we see it for the exponential function, which evaluated at imaginary x becomes trig functions, and so the most beautiful formula in mathematics. Taylor can be seen as a Schrodinger equation for the momentum operator minus i d over dx, which is gives them the transport equation, and e to the d over dx t, that's nothing else evaluated at f, is the Taylor series. Intermediate value theorem, something simple but has amazing results, like the wobbly table theorem, which tells if you have a square table on an arbitrary surface, there's always a position where all the four legs are on the ground. Function which is positive somewhere, negative somewhere else, continuous, has a root. The Basel problem, famous problem which Euler solves first, some of the reciprocals of the squares is pi squared over 6. That's a value of the zeta function, s equal to 2. So we see here another value at 4, and we see also the contour map of the zeta function. We see the minus 2, minus 4, minus 6. These are trivial roots. 1 is a singularity. It's a place where the zeta function blows up, and then on the real axis, real s equal to 1 half, all non-trivial roots are suspected. Volumes of spheres, something which Archimedes already computed, and there are various ways how one can see it. One can see the volume of a sphere as a, the volume of the complement of a cone in a cylinder, or there are other ways how we can cut up a sphere or a disk. Harmonic series diverges, so some of the reciprocals of the integers is infinite. You can easily see that by just grouping the terms together in a nice way, but it has astounding consequences like that we have the, the book stacking problem allows you to build bridges of arbitrary lengths so that the center of mass is always on the base brick. Pi, the most exciting number in maybe in mathematics, it's ir irrational, it's also transcendental, there's a formula of Leibniz then he was in calculus, which is 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seventh, that's pi over 4. Fourier series, every function, piecewise smooth function, can be written as a sum of trig functions. And uh, here we see uh, even discontinuous functions can be described using Fourier series. Here we have even functions. We can use Fourier series also to find functions which are continuous, but nowhere differentiable. This was Weierstrass who has found first such examples. <clears throat> and uh, finally, uh, back to the zeta function, which is an exciting function because also it has relations with prime numbers. So the golden key formula gives you a relation between the prime numbers and the zeta function. There are more deep relations like the music of the prime formula, which allows you to express a distribution of primes using the roots of the zeta function. Big open problem where these roots, non-trivial roots, are. This is a top 10 attempt. There would be many more stories, but we wrap it up.